Hey guys, what's up? It's Rocket S54 here, and uh, today I am going to be doing a movie review on Insidious. Now, guys, before this review starts, I just want to say I'm going to be doing two uploads a week now. <clears throat> um, every Wednesday is going to be a movie review, and every Friday is going to be a um, every Friday is going to be a life stories episode because I think a decent amount of people like the life stories so you know i figured why not do one every week and i have plenty more to tell you so like the way things are looking right now i think you're gonna have about three months more of life stories i mean i know it's not gonna seem like very much but it's like you know only so many things happened in my lifetime that i remember so yeah and um also like maybe there's gonna be like some skits you know, somewhere in there, you know, like, you know, just random skits, but like, you know, I don't really enjoy filming skit, not like enjoy, it's just that, like, I don't really have very good ideas for skits, that's why I don't really do them that much. But uh, anyways, yeah, doing a movie review on Insidious, the first one, I will probably be doing a review on Insidious Chapter 2 uh, next Wednesday. But anyway, so... It's the first Insidious. Now, the movie's directed by James Wan and stars Patrick Wilson as Josh, Rose Byrne as Renee, um, Lynn Shea as Elise, Leigh Whannell as Spex, and Barbara Hershey as Lorraine. Now, this is from the same people that did Saw and Paranormal Activity, because I know that the director of this directed the first Saw movie. I'm not sure if he directed the first Paranormal Activity or not, because I haven't seen that. Because the only Paranormal Activity movie I've actually seen was the fourth one, and that one sucked ass. Like, don't watch it. It's not worth your time. It's not, it's, it's not even worth your time at all. Like, it doesn't even get interesting until the last 20 minutes, and not even the slightest bit scary until the last five. I'll probably be doing a movie review on that soon enough. But, um... Yeah, so as I said, it's from the same makers of Saw and Paranormal Activity. This came out, um, when did this come out? 2010. So this came out, uh, six years after Saw, and I think a year? I think it was like a year or three years after Paranormal Activity, because I think Paranormal Activity was filmed in 2007, but wasn't released until 2009. Anyway, um, so yeah, um... This is 2010. Basically what this movie's about is about these, um, these two parents and there are two kids. No, there's three kids, right? There's three kids because there's two sons and a baby girl. So then they move into like this new house. I think it was for like the dad's work or something or the mom's work, whichever one it was. Um, they move in. Um, and then, like, uh, their son kind of starts becoming, like, really sick, and he's, like, his, their son's, like, the oldest son, I'm pretty sure he's the oldest son, he's doing, like, 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 a lot of weird things are happening to him, like, and he's just, like, feeling, like, he's, like, getting, like, sick, and then, like, he ends up going into the hospital, and then, um, like, they say that, um, their son's, like, in a coma, then, like, they call, like, a, uh, like, I don't know, like, this kind of exorcist, yeah, like, an exorcist, I, okay, I'm pretty sure they're called an exorcist, like, if they're not, don't hate me, I know I sound really stupid right now, but whatever the name of the person is that try to, uh, tries to, like, find out what's going on, I'm pretty sure that's called an exorcist, but anyway, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, but anyway, so, they hire somebody there to, like, find out what's wrong with the house, or, like, why is it doing this to our son, and then, like, if you remember from the trailer, it's like, uh, they're like, it's not the house that's haunted, it's your son. And basically, like, there's, like, they reveal, like, there's, like, a demon that's, like, dead, but it's, like, continuing to live on in the form of their son. <clears throat> and then, like, they have to, like, um, they're like, why is this happening? Like, why is they, why are they doing this? And, like, <clears throat> <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, so that's basically <clears throat> what the movie's about now. Let me just say, like, this is, like, this is one of my favorite horror movies to this day, if not my favorite. My all-time favorite horror movie, without a doubt, is Creep. 
Creep was great. I love that movie. If you want to see my review for Creep, it's in my uh, movie reviews playlist. Um, because I think the, I think, no. Okay, yeah, I'd say my first, like, probably, okay, like, I of course I'd have to go through the list of all the horror movies I've seen, but my two favorite horror movies, number one, without a doubt, is Creep, and number two would be The Green Inferno. Um, I also did a review on The Green Inferno, um, that's also on my movies playlist. You can check out both of them there, but, um, yeah, with this one, like, just, like, a rough sketch... Uh, this is probably my fourth or fifth favorite horror movie. I really, really need to see the movie uh, Trick or Treat. My friend is telling me I need to see that movie. Um, he says it's really good, but I, I like, I don't have a way of seeing it. Like I, like, like I was gonna rent it on PlayStation Video, but you couldn't rent it. You could only buy it, and it was like twenty bucks. So I was like, no way. Um. But yeah, anyways, this is a really, this is actually a really well done movie, and it's like, it's like really creepy too, like, this is one of the few, like, honestly, if this movie hadn't done this, I wouldn't have liked it nearly as much. This movie does something for me, <coughs> sorry, I've, I'm kind of getting over a cold, so I gotta like clear my throat, um, this movie's jump scares actually work, like, it's not just like, oh, Oh, like a temporary scare. Like the jump scares actually make you scared for like a few seconds. Like, it's so like a normal jump scare is just, huh, and then, you know, you're just like, eh, whatever. It's done. It's over with. Then, but not this movie. No, no. Like these, like this movie's jump scares, like keep you have like a wave of shock through your body for about like 10 seconds. So few horror movies can pull off jump scares that work. Future horror movie directors that have a lot of jump scares take Note from this movie and do jump scares like that. The people of Unfriended, because yes, they are making an Unfriended 2, which apparently I think is coming out this year. Learn from this movie to make the jump scares work. I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but like if you're going to do jump scares, at least make them work and not have like jump scares that like maybe 10 year olds are going to get scared by. But, anyway, like, yeah, it's basically, like, um, really well done movie, and let me just say, the ending of this movie, oh my god, is it creepy. Like, this, like, the ending to this movie is so creepy, like, I, like, I was, like, s like, legitimately scared after I watched this. <clears throat> now, let me also just say something, this is really funny. When I saw, <clears throat> sorry about that, when I saw Sinister for the first time, which also I have a review of that, it's also in my movies playlist, um, when I first saw Sinister for the first time, like, I finished it just before I went to bed, and then after, like, that night, I had a bad dream, like, I had a nightmare after, like, I had finished watching, I went to sleep, and I had a bad dream, and I woke up. I watched insidious one before i went to bed um one night i and, and i'm not kidding when i say it, it's like this is so ironic it's not even funny it like i seriously i watched this right before i went to bed and i finished it like like right before i went to bed i slept like a freaking baby that night like literally that was one of like the best sleeps i've ever had um and then i saw the second one the day after I say again before I went to bed still slept like a baby. I don't know how it happened, but like Yeah, like um I, I, I was just laughing at how ironic that was but um yeah insidious the ending of this movie is so friggin creepy like This will serious the ending of this movie will put a chill down your spine like literally if you're a director or like a writer or something and you want to go to like horror movie school Watch, like, the very first lesson in horror movie making school is watch this movie. That should, this, this movie should be, like, a lesson. Like, this should be a teaching method for horror directors, this movie, to make it good. Um, but yeah, like, this was, like, a great movie. The ending will put a chill down your spine, but 
If you do one thing, which I'm not going to say until next week, because for my movie review for next week, I'll tell you how the ending of this movie can be completely ruined. Because honestly, it happened to me, and it basically lowered my likeness of the ending by about 50%. I'm not kidding. I still love the ending. I think it's actually one of the best endings in movie history. But, you know, I will tell you in my movie review next week how the ending can be ruined. But anyway, guys, I just absolutely loved Insidious. And I'm going to give Insidious a B+. So guys, let me know what your thoughts are on Insidious. And uh, let me know what your thoughts are on chapters 2 and 3. I thought the first one was great. I thought the second one wasn't as good because it didn't have like the same vibes this one did. I have not seen the third one. Apparently the third one's very, very good, but I haven't seen it. Um, like I have not seen uh, the third one because like I would, I would have gotten it from Walmart, but it was like, it, it was still new release price. So I didn't get it. Um, but anyway, guys, um, stay tuned next week for my, uh, next, um, movie review. Anyways, guys, uh, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more content, and remember, you guys, whenever there's a creepy figure with knives for fingers in your room, just made a Nightmare on Elm Street reference there, but anyways, say no to drugs.